हेलो एंड वेलकम सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइम रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंट्रोल सिस्टम नो वॉट इज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज सिंपली एंड द वन वेयर द हाइजेस्ट पावर ऑफ एस इन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ इट्स ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन हाइजेस्ट पावर पावर ऑफ एस इन डिनोमिनेटर इज वन ओके हाइजेस्ट पावर ऑफ एस इन डिनोमिनेटर इज वन ओके so the first order control system is expressed by a transfer function so let's try this is a block diagram given over here where rs is simply the input input cs is the output okay uh, so from here we can see that uh, cs upon rs the output upon input the laplace transform of the output and the input is simply given by 1 upon st plus 1 so here the power of s is 1 so this is the uh first order transfer function okay so so now uh, here we are we, what we need to do we need to do simply we have to see that time response of the first order control system so uh, we are going to analyze the time response of the first order control system by applying the input uh, uh, test signals so we will first of all we will uh, apply unit step unit step input okay then second one we have a uh, ramp input ramp input and uh, third one we are going to discuss about the unit impulse input okay impulse input okay so one by one we are going to see the uh, response of uh, these inputs so let's take the first one that is the unit step input so let's going to discuss about the time response of a first order control system subject to uh, unit step input function so as we have uh, write down earlier that the output cs upon the input rs is equal to 1 upon st plus 1 here we have written so from here we can see that the output cs should be equals to 1 upon st plus 1 into rs okay so this is really the output let's take it as equation number 1 so what we need to do we have to give the unit is uh, input uh, unit step input as the input response so as the input is a unit step function so simply you can see that rt that is the input rt is equals to 1 okay and the uh, laplace transform for rt is rs which should be 1 upon s okay so we are going to substitute this value of uh, rs in equation number 1 okay so let's see so the output become when we are going to substitute this value in equation number 1 so output cs will become what 1 upon s into 1 upon st plus 1 okay so just breaking this breaking this into the partial fractions we will get cs should be equals to 1 upon s minus t upon st plus 1 okay let's take it as 1 upon s minus of 1 upon if we take the t in the denominator then it should become s plus 1 upon t okay so we are just going to take the inverse laplace transform taking taking inverse laplace transform on both side okay on both sides in the above equation what we will get simply laplace inverse of cs okay equal to laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus t upon st plus 1 okay st plus 1 or you can write down as uh, simply 1 upon s plus 1 upon t okay so what we will get simply inverse laplace of cs should be ct and inverse laplace of this should be 1 upon s the laplace inverse of 1 upon s should be 1 okay minus 
the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 upon t should be e to the power minus t by t. Okay. So this is what we are going, getting over here. So the error you can see that what is the what should be the error? So error uh, just take this one error over here e s e s is simply uh, the error. Uh, the output is going over here. So r s r s okay minus c s or you can see that r t minus c t. This should be the error. So we are going to calculate the error over here. So error is given by the error. The error is given by what should be the error? E t and this should be equals to C t minus sorry not C t but R t minus C t. Okay, so R t is what one minus C t we have just calculated minus minus of 1 minus e to the power minus t over capital T. Okay, this will give us 1 minus 1 plus e to the power minus t over capital T. 1 minus 1 is 0 and this should be equals to e to the power minus t over capital T. Okay, et. This is the error over here. So, uh, the steady state error in the last you can see that we have uh, uh, already tell you the error the steady state error is taken when the time it uh, is tending to infinity okay the steady state error is e s s which should be equals to limit time ten t tends to infinity e to the power minus t over capital t which should be equals to zero. All right. So the time response of this output, the time response of the output which we have calculated just now, uh, we can see in the graph uh, or the characteristics given over here. You can see over here. It will be like this. Okay. So this is the output response uh, uh, when we are going to apply the unit step input uh, over here. So you can see that uh, we are getting the output like this and uh, here uh, you can see the magnitude of the output time response equals the magnitude of the output time response equals 0.63 unit in time capital T. This is the time capital T we have considered over here. That means 63.2%. 0.2% in time capital T. All right. All right. Then an approximately 0.98 of the total value of the final value means 98%. Uh, 98% 98 over here in time 40. We have considered this as time T. Then we have considered this as, as time 40. Four times the time constant. Okay. So the final steady state value of the output is 1. As shown over here, the final value is 1 over here. Okay, so we have just made the demarcation over here, the difference, the time 40, the time 40 as mentioned over here uh, is the basis of demarcation, okay, between the transient part and the STDZ part. Before this de uh, the demarcation line, we have the uh, transient part over here, this uh, transient part and after this we have the STD state part. Okay, so when the actual output reaches within 2%, within 2% over here, you can see that output actual output reaches within 2% of the desired value it is said that std state has reached so here std state as has reached so the time 40 is termed as settling time time 40 is termed as ts means settling time settling time okay settling time of the uh, control system so before the settling time we have the transient state and after the settling time we have the std state response all right so next we are going to take the time response of the first order control system subjected to a unit ramp input as we already know that the output is considered as cs is equals to rs 
वन अपॉन एस टी प्लस वन ओके वी आर गिविंग द इनपुट दैट इज द यूनिट रैम फंक्शन एज द इनपुट इज अ यूनिट रैम फंक्शन दैट इज आर टी इक्वस टू टी सो द लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस शुड बी वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर और राइट सो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ आर एस इन दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो वॉट वी विल गेट एट एज द आउटपुट सी एस शुड बी इक्वस टू वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर इन टू वन अपॉन एस टी प्लस वन सो जस्ट ब्रेकिंग इन टू द पार्शियल फ्रैक्शंस टेक इन द पार्शियल फ्रैक्शंस ब्रेकिंग इट एन पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन ओके सो वी विल गेट सी एस इज इक्वस टू वन माइनस एस टी अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस टी स्क्वायर अपॉन एस टी प्लस वन ओके जस्ट ब्रेकिंग इट मो वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर माइनस टी इंटू वन अपॉन एस प्लस कैपिटल टी वन अपॉन एस प्लस वन अपॉन टी ओके सो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टेक द इनवर्स लैप प्लस ट्रांसफॉर्म टेकिंग इनवर्स लैप प्लस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन इनवर्स लैप प्लस ऑफ अब इक्वेशन वॉट यू विल गेट लैप प्लस इनवर्स ऑफ सी एस ओके दिस शुड बी इक्वल्स टू लैप प्लस इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर माइनस कैपिटल टी इंटू वन अपॉन एस प्लस कैपिटल टी इंटू वन अपॉन एस प्लस वन अपॉन कैपिटल टी ओके सो वॉट यू विल गेट एज द इनवर्स लैप प्लस ऑफ वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर दिस विल गिव यू टी माइनस कैपिटल टी इज ऑलरेडी गिवन ओवर हेयर सो लैप प्लस इनवर्स ऑफ वन अपॉन एस शुड बी वन सो यू विल गेट कैपिटल टी प्लस कैपिटल टी इज हेयर सो लैप प्लस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस फंक्शन शुड बी वॉट कैपिटल टी इंटू ई की पावर माइनस टी ओवर कैपिटल टी ओके सो दिस इज वॉट सी टी दिस इज वॉट द सी टी दैट इज द आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग ओवर हेयर सो वॉट इज द एरर एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एरर एरर शुड बी वॉट एरर इज ई टी विच इज आर टी माइनस सी टी ओके so what is rt rt we have taken as a uh, t because we have applied uh, we have taken unit uh, ram function as a input so minus ct ct is given over here ct minus t plus capital t minus capital t into e power minus t over t we will get capital t minus capital t into e power minus t over t okay so this is the error we are getting over here in the unit ram function when applied as the input so std state error std state error std state error is given as ess this should be equals to when we are going to apply limit t tends to infinity okay in capital t t e to the power minus t over capital t so what we will get capital t over here so std state error is simply capital t so we can uh, draw the time response of first order control system when we are applying the unit step as an input so ram function is this one okay and what we are getting sorry like this okay so this is the lagging time and this is your error ess ess is equals to capital t and this is your lagging time okay so this is time response of the equation which we have got earlier okay so let's take the third uh, condition when the time response of first order control system is subjected to unit impulse input function so the as we have already know the output is given as cs is equals to rs 
1 upon st plus 1 okay so here we are going to give a impulse function that the unit impulse function as the input response okay so as an input the system uh, is a unit impulse function its laplace transform is 1 okay its laplace transform is 1 okay it's a unit impulse response so if we are going to put this value of rs equal to 1 in the above equation then what we will going to get we are going to get cs is simply equals to 1 into 1 upon st plus 1 understand uh, okay so the impulse uh, laplace transform of the above equation should be laplace in inverse of c capital c into s and laplace inverse of 1 upon st plus 1 okay so what should what's the output it will become ct and it will become it will become uh, laplace inverse of one more step is simply 1 upon capital d into 1 upon s plus 1 upon d okay this one so 1 upon t into e to power minus t over capital t so this is the time response uh, in the equation number 30 in, six point, uh, in the above equation is given as uh, ct is equal to 1 upon t e power minus t over tau okay so the uh, response uh, on the graph is simply given as like this okay like this here is the 2t 3t t 2t 3t this 4t okay this is time given as it starts from 1 upon capital neutral t ct given over here okay so this is the laplace transform of a unit impulse unit uh, uh, impulse response our output of the uh, uh, the time response of the first order control system when we have applied the unit impulse input function okay so this is all about the in, uh, input responses in a first order control system uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the time response of a second order control system thank you